It's the hard emotions um, that are obviously difficult to face, but they're usually there, they're usually right there, ready mm -hmm. to deal with it. It's just whether you want to choose to deal with it or not. Yeah. yeah. And the key, so the key, and what I'm saying is not just applying you, the key is to do the emotional work, to do that work and to not avoid it, not run away from it. Every time you run away, you, you're breaking the law that's going to harm your own soul. Because it, the, one of the laws of natural love is a love of self. And every time you treat yourself badly, and part of treating yourself badly is to not experience an emotion that's within you, whether that emotion is painful or pleasurable, it doesn't matter. If you choose to not experience it, yeah. you are breaking a law of love towards yourself. And there will always be a penalty associated with that. When I say a penalty, it's not like we have to worry about it, it's just going to create more sadness within your own soul. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important to focus on the emotional, the emotional, the, the stuff that's inside. Because there are very, very much, one of the things I haven't talked much about with different groups uh, until recently are the laws surrounding love, the laws of natural love and the laws of divine love. But one of the laws of natural love is if you treat yourself badly, if we can use the term badly, which means to treat yourself in disharmony with love, then you will feel the penalties within yourself of that. Yeah? And, and a lot of people don't, are not aware that when you choose to not experience an emotion within yourself, you are now being unloving towards yourself. So a lot of people would say, I'm avoiding pain, so that's being loving. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's actually the opposite. If you avoid any emotion, whether it be pain or pleasure, you are actually treating yourself unlovingly. Okay. Right? Because the soul, remember the soul is your emotion. That's the real you. Your real you is your emotion. So if you deny a part of the real you, are you loving you? Okay. Obviously not. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And there is a law involved in the, in the, natural, the natural law that's about about love that will affect that process so if you deny the emotion that's within you selectively push down an emotion within you are now not loving yourself and there are penalties associated with the act of not loving yourself just like there are penalties associated with the act of not loving someone else does that make sense mm -hmm. from God's perspective you are of same value as the next person so if I treat Natalie badly then obviously there's going to be penalties on my soul about that treatment of Natalie. Does that make sense? But if I treat myself badly, exactly the same penalties will result on my soul. Because I am just as important in God's eyes as Natalie is.